Today I'll show you how to remove numbers from your WordPress URL structure. If your website has numbers like this, then that's not exactly helpful for users or for search engines in finding what your website is about. So let's change that. First thing we want to do is we want to head over to our WordPress dashboard and you'll want to go to settings, go to permalinks, and this is where we can change it. By default, when you first set up your WordPress website, this might be the location that you're showing. You can change it to any of these items here, but the one that we usually recommend is the post name because it's very helpful, descriptive, it lets users and search engines know what your page is about because it brings in the post name, which is also the title of your blog post or your page. Once you're done with that, you can click save changes. And now when I click on it, instead of those numbers, I see an actual descriptive URL structure. But what if you have a number in your post or your page slug? For instance, we have an about us dash two. I don't want that. I want it just about us. The biggest reason for this is when you delete a page or a post, it still stays in your trash bin for 30 days. So we'll need to actually delete it completely. So let's go to, in this case, it's a page. We'll go to pages and we see that we have two about us. And if you hover over the view down at the bottom, you can see that one has the two and then the other one does not. But I wanna keep this one, but I don't want the two. So we need to trash the first one, which you probably already have it trashed, but it's in the trash can, but it's not completely deleted. That's why we're getting numbers at the end. So you wanna go in and then completely delete permanently. And now when we go in and edit this, we can go to permalink and I can move that and delete that. And when I update, then it will stay. So that is my new about us page without any numbers behind it. The next way you tend to have numbers in your poster page is if you go in, you start a new blog post and maybe you just start writing and typing out your blog post and you get excited about it. You go to hit publish, but you forgot to add an actual title. So when you forget to add an actual title, then it's going to change it and just add numbers for you. For instance, this is now the page slug. In order to fix that, again, you need to go in and add a title, and then you need to go into the permalink area, and we'll expand that. And you can even just remove this. Once you add the title up here, if you just remove that slug and click update, it'll bring that title in automatically. Or if you want to, you can make your own title. Just make sure that you add the dashes in between to make it more readable for people who are coming to your website. For me, the best way to do it is just to remove it, delete the slug, click update, and it'll automatically bring in the title that I just typed in. Now, when you're updating these and you're changing the URL structure, you also want to make sure that you set up something like a redirect when changing URLs. A redirect simply tells people who are coming to the old URL that this is now the new version of the page. That way you don't lose search engine rankings and you don't have a bad user experience for users who come to it and then they'll get a page not found issue. You can use something like all-in-one SEO to get this going on your website and to get most out of your website, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to install and configure all-in-one SEO for your website and I'll see you over there.